Go ahead. There we go. When last we left our heroes, you all had received impetus from a couple of different angles to head to the town of Leyland and set up shop there. A law phantasma in particular was hired by the Lord Never Ember to help secure that location between Neverwinter and Waterdeep. You set out from Phandalin and decided to rest for the evening in your travels down there at the Wayside Inn, only to find it under attack by Undead when you got there. A very harrowing battle ensued against a couple of wraiths and a child who did significant damage to the party with just Firebolt. <laughs> um, and you all settled in for a rest, and now you are on your way to Leyland. Is there anything you want to do at the Wayside Inn before you leave? Uh, I don't think I have anything. I think I already paid for the things that we broke. I'm good. Although, I think Silk probably needs hair of the dog after the drinking uh, competition. Oh, he, yeah. He Did might, somebody might lose that? Uh, he, yes. Yeah. They have disadvantages. Yeah. They have, they have one level of exhaustion. I believe it was uh, DJ. La Fantasma, I think. I have a... Ah. Wait, for what? What? I hope I for oh, losing, getting get get wrecked. For, for losing the competition. Did I? Did I lose an exhaustion? Yeah, uh, yeah Alric could... passed the save, so he doesn't have disadvantage. He doesn't have exhaustion, but you failed. <laughs> so you're the one who has the exhaustion. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hey, I did. I left it on here. Exhaustion one, disadvantage ability checks. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You got hoisted. You're <laughs> struggling. Well, Sil Silk will have a little bit of uh, ale with, with whatever breakfast fare that they have. All right. <clears throat> you go ahead and gather up your things. I guess. Wait, don't we have? Did we already do a long rest by then, though? Uh, it's for the next day. You pick this point up because you're wasted the whole night. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you're gonna sleep in the cart. <laughs> you can ask him to have... let you ride in his carriage. <laughs> oh, no, you know what? I want to. How much gold do I have? Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to pay for this exhaustion point to go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I to fucking look. So I'm going to purchase myself my own little cart and have my horse pull mine. Well, they're not going to be able to buy a cart from here. This is just a stopping. I don't need here. nothing fancy like tokens. I ain't that. Just give me something with a back to it and a little cover. I'm fine. You still won't Floor, get rid of your cover, exhaustion. Run. Anyway. I'm not going to get rid of exhaustion either it's way. Mechanically, you can do what you want do to get rid of it. You may only benefit from a long rest once per 24 hours. Have I long rest in 24 hours? Sounds like I've been this fighting is... with your exhaustion. You got your <laughs> long rest after you all went to bed. This is a special exhaustion that has arisen from you getting shoisted the night before. Ah. Oh! Oh, I'm hungover exhausted. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> yes, that is what has happened. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh. fantastic against his day. I need sunglasses. Like really heavy, really go. heavy water skin. And you see him pulling his mask down a little bit over his face. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We're all on the same page now. <laughs> okay, I was like, where did I get in a fight? I was like, did I, get, I didn't get exhausted pit fighting. Oh, I got drunk. That makes sense. <laughs> I like how DJ's That's like, like <laughs> who punched me? No, you got fucking drunk. Oh, never mind. I understand. I <laughs> all that first and second hand experience living over a bar. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> never mind. I'm fine. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Completely reasonable, DM. <laughs> 
Holy shit. Uh, oh, I definitely need a cart so the ride ain't so bumpy. <laughs> you just this token if it'll let you ride I'm gonna just <laughs> I'm gonna I'm dust just off gonna... The, the steps to my carriage and close the door. He's gonna find me in it already. Make a stealth roll. Because <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it'll already roll at disadvantage. Yep, motherfucker. So, Token, you notice somebody clip clopping around your <laughs> your carriage as you're trying to get ready to go. Say yep. cart's full. Bye. <laughs> Exit. Uh, I'm gonna push him out. <laughs> make an athletic check. No. <laughs> Token, make an acrobatics check. Oh. Oh, it was not a. It was so low. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw, La Fantasma. Oh, Jesus. At least it's a save. You're good with save. Oh, nope. <laughs> I am you do not happy. fall on your ass trying to shove. Oh. Out of his own, out of his own carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my uh, goodness. Silk sees all this go down as he's standing <laughs> on the wheel to get into the, the front seat. And and it says, just hook your hook your horse to the back and you can ride shotgun. I don't know what a shotgun is, but ride shotgun on a wagon. Right next to Silk, I guess. T Token's driver is gonna ride on the back with his crossbow. <laughs> Oh my! All right. <laughs> <sighs> so you managed to get yourself up next to Silk, feeling a little woozy today. But <laughs> you managed to doze off <laughs> for the twenty miles of travel that you yes. all go down the way. <laughs> uh, considering you might have had a chance to hydrate, I will allow you to make a new save against this. Make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Pedialyte, baby. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> you are still <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I've just grown. I've just, at this point, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just, that was my one last effort. Fuck it. Let's go. Right. If you hurl, <laughs> make sure you get the right arc so it doesn't end up on your horse. Um, <laughs> no. Don't worry, I'll make sure it goes right in Token's window. As you're getting within <laughs> under a mile from where the town itself is being rebuilt, uh, you come across an impromptu meeting of some sorts. Uh, roughly, oh, good, it worked this time. Roughly 50 people stand in a clearing just off the high road, where the forest to the northeast and the swampland to the southwest give way to grassland for a bit on each side of the road. The beginnings of gardens or larger fields of crops are half dug here. The people mill about in a panic. Some shake in fear, others shout in anger. And in the center of it all, an enraged dwarf waves her arms and tries to get those around her to listen. A bored-looking human in a chain shirt and shield, decorated with a sigil of Neverwinter, stands next to the door. He finally bangs his spear against the shield to quiet the tumult. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Amongst the crowd... You can see that this dwarf uh, begins talking by berating various townsfolk, uh, asserting that many have become an unruly mob as they evacuated the town. She calls out a few people by name, shaming them in front of the group. This does not seem to be going over well. <clears throat> Uh, she then asks if anyone saw anything happening in the town as they were evacuated. At this point, one of the stonemasons steps up and says that she saw something strange happening on the water out in the swampland past the Marsh Islands. But then she picked up her tools and ran as the soldiers ordered her to evacuate. Around this time, you all are amongst the crowd. Uh, token, you can exit if you want to participate in whatever is going on here, but it looks like there's some sort of commotion happening outside of town as you're approaching. 
I'll step out and join the little people. <laughs> little goblin starts milling about the crowd. What's going on here? <laughs> Another stone mason claims at this point as you're coming out of out of this. And what else do you want to do as this meeting's beginning? I'm going to keep running through what's going on in the meeting. You guys can interject whenever you like. Uh, so I am going to be sitting right where I am <laughs> and just peek, head. peek. <laughs> I'm just going to peek back over there and I'm just going to look at Silk and just be like, let me know if I need to do something. And I'm just going to go back to sleep. Uh, Silk gives him a thumbs up (laughs) and then I would, Silk would like to be, find an officer of note and then hang out with them and then ask them questions. If someone just showed up at Sarge's door. Hello. Yep. All right. Well, what's Silk doing? Oh, okay. Uh, Silk is going to mill into the crowd and try to find like soldiers or guards because he overheard evacuation ordered by guards. He'd rather listen in on what the soldiers were told. He asked them questions instead of getting right into the middle of the crowd, which, where oh, he does not man, belong. This guy sucks. Um, it doesn't seem there's a large contingent of guards here. You only notice maybe under a dozen of them. Uh, and they don't seem like there's a lot of them here. As you're getting up and trying to get a read on what's going on, uh, I'll let you all make uh, in- insight checks as you're walking up. As you're walking up trying to get a read on what's going on, Another stonemason. Oh, wait, I read this part. Because uh, I heard some of the returning fishing folk were still out in their skips in the marshland shouting in panic. Others not in her own phone do jingle to indicate that they <laughs> heard this as well. Okay, so there are fishermen out in the swamp that didn't get evacuated. <clears throat> Getting a sense uh, right away, you, go, you both get a sense right away that. Whatever they're talking about appears to have happened in like very recently. Like, they are in the midst of dealing with some sort of situation before you walked up. And like a lot of the people standing around seem more confused and than anything on top of their worry. There doesn't seem to be targeted frustration yet. At this point, a short dragonborn wearing a holy symbol of Lathander shouts, May the morning lord forgive me. We are missing two of the children. Smithwell and Bernice aren't here. They're right behind me as we left the town. Uh, you both have insight. Uh, one of you has insight. One of you, if you have insight, you hear right away that uh, some of the other kids in the area are talking about how they're best friends. Okay. At this point, all hell starts to break loose, and all the collected townsfolk are getting roared up into another panic. Uh, the guard who you noticed immediately uh, sl- uh, slaps his shield against his spear against the shield again to quiet the crowd. Uh, another 
A priest of the Morning Lord sta stands up. They seem to be important in some way. And they insist that uh, they must immediately go back to the town and retrieve the children. Consequences be damned. The dwarf, who is already yelling at people, insists that everyone should stay right here until one of the soldiers from the town comes to tell them it's safe. She's asserting that absolutely no one is going back to town now. There's another individual, a half elven and a man, who's standing nearby. Looks, and people are looking at him to see what to do, uh, but they seem a bit flustered at this point. What would you all? like to do did you say he was half elvish mm -hmm. all right well since all of this banging and yelling <laughs> is happening <laughs> i cannot get to sleep again <laughs> so i'm gonna get off my little this little cart thingy and i'm gonna walk over to this guy the the elvish guy and in elvish i'm gonna ask him what's going on uh, he will explain to you that they have been recently they all evacuated when they received warning that something was invading the town from the docks. <clears throat> and it appears that two children are missing. Do, do you know what they are? Well, we do not at this time. Uh, according to some of the folks here, it seems like there's some sort of fish people maybe attacking us, but we don't know what's going on. Uh, who are you? Well, I am Lafatasma. <laughs> this is my merry men. <laughs> we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> gestures at, at the half orc and goblin with you. <laughs> and I'd just be like, we're, we're just traveling. Maybe we could help. How far away is your town? Okay, so this is the town you were told to head to? Oh. Oh, okay. This is, this is, well, this is literally the time listen, you have a job we were <laughs> we listen, we were sent here from Fandolin to come and assist. So we're here to assist. Uh, at this point the guard perks up and he looks over. Ah, we received word from Lord Neverember that some assistance would be sent this way. Are you the the party that was hired out for this task? Yes. Well, this is useful. There's... I'll try to keep his rabble in check. We're waiting on a report back from Thanks. town to see what's going on here. At this point... Uh... Oh, that's fine. I don't feel like doing this part, though. I don't like running children. Mm -hmm. Um... Silk is going to kind of mill towards where he saw some of the uh, the stonemasons and guild mm -hmm. people are around, and uh, he's going to let them know that uh, he's here on behalf of Blind Shield Coster from Bandolin. If they would be so kind to watch their carriage while they go into town. Okay, make a uh, persuasion check with advantage. Oh shit, let me get my DMG out. What are we rolling for? Uh, he's trying to get some folks to cooperate. Oh. And I'd like some people that are friendly to watch our things when we leave them behind. Oh yeah, they they nod and go, well, absolutely yeah. <clears throat> It'd be excellent to see some folks from the Lion Show Coster come down here and help us. Uh, we gotta deal with this situation first, though. Absolutely. Uh, around this time... Uh, at this point, the uh, captain of their guard here, he introduces himself as... Oh, there's a lot of names on this board. Sergeant Has Yoram. 
and I will type this out for you. He is a human male. He asked you all, since the Lord never ever sent you all down here, how you want to proceed from here. We got all these folks out of the town for now, because it's still kind of a mess, and we don't have much to show for ourselves here. I will give you all the map now. I will tell the people, don't worry, we'll fix it, and just check. start walking away. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> well, I'll go over La Fantasma. Don't worry. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. They I do don't care if they do. They do not seem encouraged. By <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to rate. I'm going to hold my folding chair up and just be like, eh, and just start walking towards Oh, God, time. he's got a chair. <laughs> God, I wonder what they do if I pulled my gun out. <laughs> Oh, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, silk shrugs <laughs> and, and, and follows him. Look out, he's got a gun! <laughs> Tackled by six guards. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, anywho. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we're we're going to approach the town... Uh, Silk is going to say, hey, we, we should probably head towards the docks first, see if we can find those kids. Also, there were some fishermen that were screaming out in the swamp. So it's definitely coming from that area. Such a weirdly designed account. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, as you all prepare to head towards town, strange knights bearing a symbol with three lightning bolts ride striking horses made of water, accompanied by a wagon full of archers, pulled by another... Oh, man, that's a, that's a poorly written sentence, too. Man, they really phoned it in on these, sep these, these sequel adventures. <laughs> oh. oh, man, they didn't even put the archer artwork in here. Oh. Garbage city in here. I can't allow this. Hold on, I'm gonna update the pog first. Can I just shoot the wheel out of the wagon and have it fall over and they all fall out? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, there are technically some kind of rules for that. Not with radiant damage, though, right? No, no radiant damage isn't one of those that it's immune to. It's, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like... yeah. <clears throat> but you'd be talking like a specific part on it. You'd have to do enough damage to it. That kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. It is per PC. Oh, that's neat. Is that correct? It's one archer for every two characters. Okay. Generate. All right, at this point, I'm going to need you folks to roll some initiative here. The crowd is panicking and running away from you, but you got some enemies approaching you. I had advantage. La Fantasma had disadvantage. We both rolled eights. Amazing. Both got total rolls of eights. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like we had disadvantage, advantage, straight roll, straight roll wins. Okay. 
Oh, that's funny. You guys gonna hate You're this muted. Person. Nothing you say is coming through. Whom? Oh. <laughs> I said, don't you have those lightning strikes still left in your nose hair or he eyeballs has, or whatever the one, hell it one is? One, I, one is eye. One. Yes, I do have my accents left. How many? Two? One? One, two, two, one. One? One. Wow, you can always shoot them with it. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe I won't. I mean, well, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll just beat them down like usual. At this point, as you see what's happening, it looks like the enemy is headed for the townsfolk, and the sergeant you were talking to seems to be already running away. <clears throat> All right, oh Token, you're up first. So which, oh, wait, sorry, the Dark Tide Knights are up first. They're going to move towards the folks. They're maybe a round away from getting to the folks. All right, Token, what would you like to do? So are they clustered together? Um, I'm going to say no, because they're, they're all like mounted, so there's no need for them to be clustered. Okay, I'll just shoot one then. Okay. That'll miss. <laughs> All right. That will hit. Oh. Make up for that miss. And I guess I get to see if he gets yanked off. Oh, that's interesting. He is technically on a mount. Well, I don't even know if he gets saved. He just gets yanked. Yeah, they just get yanked. It's forced movement. <laughs> off of his Yo, wait. It's like being tackled off. Except for... I suppose he does fall off of his horse. So he huh. takes <laughs> five points of bludgeoning damage, and he is now prone. Nice. As there's a small boom of thunder energy as you strike him. And you pull him or push him? August, did you have the pull invocation or the push invocation? I'm checking. I can't remember now. I'm reminded of that time Dahlia got flanked and she and Terminus annihilated a flank in a single round. Mm -hmm. I pull him. Okay, so you pull him off of his horse. Strangely elemental styled horse. It appears to be, the mount itself appears to be made of water. All right, La Phantasma, you're up. Does it get stepped on? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there anything else you want to do in your turn, Token? No. Okay. Uh, Phantasma, you're up. How far away are we from the people? Uh, you're kind of amongst the people. The uh, Dark Tide Knights are about 30 feet from you. One of what about is, the car departures? Uh, that's about 100 feet away from you. The archers All right. Years. I guess I'm just going to... And they're running at me, right? You're moving towards the group of people. You're amongst a crowd of about 50 people. They're not... Well, I'm going to pull up my... All right. I'm going to shoot the fucking... I'm going to shoot the other death, the other knight all right, that he didn't pull off. Which one did he pull off? One? All right. The one that's not prone. Two. Oh, for a second. I thought he had a 20 there. So his I, it went. did. It slid. It slid, slid stopped, and then flipped. So... <laughs> Goodness. I think I'm going to have to rebuild the way that your class works. This is old design by Dave. I'm just not happy with this. I'm going to remove your brutal attacks feature. And I'm going to give you extra attack instead. Because this is kind of dumb. It's breaking your action economy relative to other people. And you're technically underperforming as a result. Particularly if you are styled similarly to a monk. <clears throat> okay. I'm probably going to have to retool some of your other damage. Like, I might have to turn down your pew pew 
to a d10 instead of a 2d6. But for now, I just don't like it. It puts you in like really stupid weapon management situations a lot. You may shoot again. Oh. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I'm going to step in front of the people. All right. Silk, and, you're up. Uh, Silk is going to sit in my chair. at the prone guy. That's people are instantly feet. surprised that the guy who was clearly hung over pulls out a space gun and just <laughs> double taps <laughs> this guy right away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna sit in my folding chair now too, in front of okay. the man. Just wait. Pulls out, a, pulls out his folding chair, and then Jack gets two guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, at this point, Silk, because of movement, uh, the prone guy is probably like twenty feet from. Oh. If you were. Almost- crowd kind of situation. We'll say for the sake of this, because you're fast, you can get to the prone guy with your base move. Okay, cool. Uh, I move to the prone guy. Bonus action. Age. Oh, okay. And I'm going to dice him up while he's on the ground. Pulls out this magnificent greatsword amongst the crowd. They're like, oh shit, what's about to happen? Lose and all this. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm I'm gonna go with tail. Where I go? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Second, Second attack. It's advantage is working out here. Well, <laughs> so close. Okay. Uh, Jazzy uh, sit here like I'm gonna take a fighting style for great weapon, great weapon fighting. Then I can take it with a feet. Um, uh-huh. uh, how far from Silk's current position to the carriage is it? Eighty feet. The wagon with the archers. Uh, ish, yeah. Okay. I'll end my turn within five feet of the prone guy. All right, the archer, seeing that you are tearing apart one of their homies, is going to shoot at you with his longbow. What's this feature? As a bonus action, the archer can add an extra d10 to its next attack or damage roll. Sure. The longbow. Oh, that's neat. Too bad that's not a programmed feature in here. Ugh. Is it just one archer, or are there more than? is there more than one? There's only one. Dodged a second archer by not having Magnus here yet. Yeah, if Magnus was here, that would have been another one. Well, I, the wording said wagon full of archers, so it was just it like. It does, uh, but I guess the initial presumption is there's like a party of like four here. Oh, okay. I've been a little frustrated with everything I keep encountering in this adventure. The writing is not as tight as it was in the previous stuff. I keep running into issues with the phrasing of a lot of stuff here. They're going to use their bonus action for this. You take an additional five damage, Silk, because they rolled a ten. So you okay. Get a set. Second attack. Well, I missed. <laughs> I almost rolled a one. It bounced off of a one, and I was like, "Ooh, oh, I still missed." Alaric is not here with us yet. The Dark Tide Knight is here. The Dark Tide Knight is going to stand up. And then it's mount forward and it was the Oh shit, I forgot about the reactions. I was like, oh ho ho, I'm not gonna forget these reactions. (laughs) 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 Gets on their horse. Their horse moves away from you. Would you like to strike it? Uh, when it gets to the 10 foot range. Get it with my tail. All right. You may do so. Make an attack roll. It's not on the, it's not on the board. Uh, for the sake of this, 
the horse. Oh, he's oh. still prone. The horse. Oh, it's not okay. You can't attack yeah. him because this is a force movement from his mouth anyway. Ah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You I'm strike good. the horse. Nothing happens to the horse. And then comes back around. He's going to stab you. No, if, magic tail had no effect on horse. He hits hmm. you because he has a horse. He gets sneak attack. <laughs> Jesse's like, what is one of these bullshit ass creatures I keep getting stabbed with in this adventure? Welcome to my side of running, playing this adventure, Jesse. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Just, just, uh-huh. Getting, just getting stabbed by bullshit stuff. Oh, that's interesting. He gets two attacks with his short sword or one with his lance. Interesting. That makes sense. Yeah, not using a shield. All right, Dark Tide Knight number two is going to run past a situation with Silk and is going to stab La Phantasma. Oh, did he come 10 feet in a straight line at me? Technically, the horse reaches you first. The horse is not going to be affected by you. No, but I could sure wait for that guy to come right up. He, I got a 10-foot reach. So if he gets the horse gets five feet closer, I was a 10-foot reach to the guy. I could punch him right off the damn horse. I suppose you could try to do that. Go ahead and make an attack against him. Um, this is tight, uh, I'm try, Strike. All right. He will stab Fuck you me. with his lance. <sighs> Damn, I'm miss. hungover. <clears throat> Token, back to you. <laughs> How far away is this this archer on this cart? Mm, they're moving 30 feet this time, so 70 feet now. I'm going to run towards them and misty step onto the cart. What's your movement speed? Uh, there. So you're only going to net 10 without dashing. You're going to still be short 10 without dashing. Oh, never mind. I okay. That then. I'm going to fly up into the air. Towards <laughs> okay. Them. And then... Is the activation them. for an action for that feature, or is it a bonus? No, the it's genie a one is a bonus action. Ah, the spell okay. slot is an action. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's what I remember. This All spell. right, the goblin goes airborne and then fires at the archer. Go for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. You rip. There he goes off the cart. <laughs> And then I'm mm-hmm. going to shoot the guy near uh, Silk. All right. And yank him off again. He will uncanny dodge. Reduce that by five. <clears throat> he will yank him off of his horse, however. So he takes an additional. I did not roll. I thought it was a three. It's worse. Five damage. <laughs> okay, Josh. <laughs> no effect. Uh, he would have been dead if he had not done candy dodged. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to do, Token? Um, nope. That's it. Okay. La Phantasma. There is a watery horse on top of you and a guy with a lance trying to stab you. I'm going to rip this motherfucker off this horse. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, shit. (laughs) I'm I'm glad you got there before you rolled. (laughs) I'm going to hit him with my folding chair. All right, he gets up (laughs) off the chair and snatching it from behind him. He tries to swing it wide and hit the guy off of the horse. That will hit. Oh, man. Okay. Second attack. Uh and then Sergeant's over the folding chair. Okay. Make him another oh. attack. 
All right, he's going to uncanny dodge. Mark half of your damage here. Oh, 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 oh. Half. <clears throat> All right. And then and I saw a bonus action, right? You do. Yeah! <laughs> I am going to... Oh, you know what? Oh, that's all. I'm going to just haymaker him. All right. Roll that and miss. Oh, I got him. Hell yeah. And then. Where's my haymaker? There it is. Boop. All right. He was not aware of that. Should have saved his uncanny dodge for that. All right. <laughs> he don't fall off his horse yet? Motherfucker. They don't. People on mounts don't have to check and roll every time they get hit while they're on the mount. That's why mounted combat's kind of dumb. Okay. Silk, back to you. I'm going to close with the guy that's once again prone. Okay. okay go, go for the finish. He will be forced to, and I don't have a reaction. Go ahead. Ah! Thank you, everyone. Still All right. Dark uh, Tide Knight number one is destroyed, and as he dies, his watery horse turns into just liquid and creates a puddle of ground. Okay. Into some. Um. It turns into a gray ooze. <laughs> I have to destroy all of your. You come into it, and it's just going to snatch you and suck you right into it, and you're dead. That's a gelatinous cube. I don't think I've ever run those against you. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, what they didn't they didn't go into the liches. Uh... Yeah, it was there with the thing inside of it. Right. Yeah, yeah, we've ran into a disposal. a couple of times. Yeah, the garbage disposal was one, and then we ran into one uh, before a long, a long time ago. Okay, uh, Sarge, up to you. <laughs> with my base movement forty, did I have enough to close with the one that was prone and have enough distance to get within ten feet of Dark Tide Night Two? Oh yeah, also you can use your tail on the other one. Yes, that, that that's what I was going for. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cool. gonna, yeah. as I'm sitting there hollering at this death night, dark night, to get off his goddamn horse and fight me like a man. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna look uh, at the stuff. archer is not that keen on a flying goblin shooting at it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shoot at the goblin. <sighs> oh, uh, you don't have concentration on. There's no concentration for that flag. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! That's great. You take an additional 8 damage from this archer's shot. The second shot from the archer goes flying to token. Crush this little <laughs> goblin. <laughs> Think he's all slick. Alright, Alaric is not here yet. Dark Tide Night number two is not happy about what's happening. Oh. Okay. Oh, Ducky. That's so fucking mean. We should have gotten this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm reading the text properly this time. Uh, they're going to stab La Phantasma. Mm, which weapon do they want to use? They can get close enough to use their short sword. Am I? I'm 10 feet away. They can get close enough to you to do that on a horse. The question is, what's the best way about this? Mm -hmm. I think they'll go for the lance. Hey! La Phantasma is going to take... Oh, 
that's a lot of damage. 22 points of piercing damage as it stabs you with its lance. I never roll that well on D12s when I'm playing as a fucking player. <laughs> <laughs> never. Dancy's watched me roll D12s and get furious. Oh, yeah, I... Yep. I am going to look very angrily at this guy because I am hungover and I am not in the mood to be stabbed. Not in the mood. Do you have a reaction? I you can use your uh, um, whatever no cell? bullshit ass I don't get fucking hurt feature is. No cell? Oh, my no cell? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's a you good point. You can heal on yourself. It's not going to out heal the damage. You can, I mean, you can drop it right on yourself this time. Okay. It's usually an issue because you know sell like nine damage, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> my goodness. There's got to be some sort of cooldown on that. That cannot be a pro reaction feature. Holy shit. That, struck, <laughs> that is way more effective than even the fucking monks to fight missiles. In the, in the book, it actually just says, just, it's just a reaction. I gotta tell me to finish the rebuild on the. <laughs> I mean, to be he fair, did, it does. He did a it barbarian does. version of it. I thought if, if Jazzy wasn't playing a barbarian, I would have forced converted you over to the barbarian version oh. of the Luchador subclass he made. I mean, honestly, if you want me to switch it to a <laughs> short rest, no, I no, can no. do short rest. That's fine. You know, that's actually a good call for. I think I'm gonna make it a short rest feature for now. Because it's too potent, because you can just see a huge hit come in. And re like, I don't mind it reducing like a, a big hit, but like having it available every round to negate damage, I don't know. But like, it's technically not that bad compared to some other features that folks have that exist in the game. So I'm not sure about it yet. For now, we'll try using it as a short rest feature and see how it feels. Uh, back to you, Token. How is this archer on, on his cart uh standing all right i'm gonna yank him off <laughs> okay <laughs> all yanked. right he's yanked off of his cart he's not high enough that he takes damage but he's no longer on the cart that's fine, and then I'm going to move into this spot I just yanked him off of and shoot him again. Okay. Wait, so you're trying to land on the cart? Yeah, that's why I flew, so I could make it there. Okay. You missed this time, but you have now commandeered the cart. The horses that are running the cart seem very confused by everything that's happening, and they just seem to be running in the direction they were prompted. You notice that there is a lot of fish in this cart. That's fine. I Same. smirk at him. Okay. You are in the cart. La Phantasma, you are up. I am going to hit this mother... I'm going to punch this son of a bitch. <laughs> And then you said I do two strikes? Mm -hmm. You have extra attack now. Whenever you take the attack action, you may make one additional attack as part of that action. I believe it's right. the usual phrasing of extra attack. Ha! This time I'm going to punch him right in the jaw and punch his jaw right off of his face. Uh, I'm going to have him uncanny dodge that, so he is at two hit points. He already uncanny dodged once. His turn came back. Oh, he gets a cool ass feature like that. No, I'm kidding. That's a rogue feature. <laughs> Change classes. Oh, well, then, <laughs> as a fucking bonus action, I'm going to haymaker his dumb ass. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, uncanny dodge this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! He wiggles out of the way and left that task, but furious pulls back his left fist. Oh no, he, no, no DJ's left handed. Pulls back his right fist and just cold cocks the guy. <laughs> As you're punching him, you step through the like watery elementalism that comes a puddle at your feet. 
Oh, Silk Europe. <laughs> now I'm all fat too. Um, I think you can get rid of the archer just to keep this. Awesome. Oh, can I move? Sure. Okay, I want to move towards the archers. You move towards him. You'll probably be able to reach him next round if he doesn't uh, run away. I'm gonna go. Uh, reckless. So okay. <laughs> oh, we're going reckless now. I see. <laughs> melee with a ranged guy I might as well and second attack um, I know this <laughs> archer has a lot more hit points than uh... <laughs> the archer <laughs> Is not happy with his current predicament. Does not know who the real problem for him is right now. It's probably barbarian on top of him. I'd like to give myself a D8 AC. Oh yeah, roll your D8 real quick. What's your base AC? 14? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, oh, that oh wait, this, work. it doesn't that work that way. Uh, let me. No, just... it doesn't roll. It just roll a d8. Yeah. That still hits. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to have a middle roll. I tried. Oh, that's the wrong. That was the wrong damage. One second. I grabbed a short sword. Oh, I like when I get punished for that. It was worse. <laughs> All right. Uh, you take an additional two points of damage. Let's see. You'd be 11. Yeah, you get two points of damage. So 20. Okay. Second attack. Uh, they're going to have to risk it because La Phantasma is also running towards them. So, oh, I'm not running. I'm I am taking my sweet ass time walking because I am so hungover. Yeah, sure. Feel like towards shit. them, the archer is going to provoke an opportunity <laughs> attack here. Silk. No, I'd my uh, my tail uh, is all right. Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's gonna run away from you. Yep. I, uh, I can easily hunt it down because I was gonna uh, truffle ahead. shuffle away from you. Token, back to you. How far away did he get? Mm, it's like 60 feet away from you now. Oh, by the start of your turn, the horses are going to move, so you are now 90 feet from him. That's fine. I'm going to yank him. Okay. Right. Joke to myself, say, go back three spaces. <laughs> Okay. Second attack. Oh, you have both of them. Okay. <laughs> Yank him back even closer. <laughs> Archer's not doing great. All right. So anything else you want to do, Token? Can I tug on the reins to make these horses stop? Make an animal handling check. With proficiency in land vehicles, if you have it. Oh, no, I don't have that. We never get to make animal handling checks. This is fun. Uh, oh. The horses continue to move. But they don't seem like they're out of control. They just don't seem to be listening to you that much. All right. La Fantasma. How far away is this archer from me? 80 feet. 80. Well, I'm going to go up 30 feet, shuffle my ass along, and then I'm going to shoot this little bitch. Since he wants to run on a horse, I'm just going to pew pew. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. Shoot again. Yeah, you get two attacks now. Oh, Amazing. bullshit. <laughs> Fuck, they did not. They have not fixed these rules. They have fucked them up with their last update. <laughs> Because uh, this shit is flipping off over and just so tilted and sliding and bloop. 
<laughs> Just kidding. So, uh, Sarge, what's the movement speed on that archer? Not enough. Okay. Uh, he only I, had 30. I close with my 40 <laughs> movement speed and lay into him with the greatsword. All right, proceed. The archer does not survive this final blow. <laughs> Almost minimum damage. <laughs> Still got him. Uh, Silk will... I use my action. I would I would search, but I have it. Uh, Silk will look around to see if anybody else is uh, in danger. At this point, it seems that the battle itself has come to an end. Uh, the townsfolk seem a little bit freaked out, but it seems you've repelled this current assault. I'm going to carve a little sign on this cart. <laughs> At this point, now that you're out of combat, you'll be able to calm the horses down. Yeah. I'm going to carve mine. <laughs> well, it belongs to the town, so good luck. <laughs> Oh, it's full well, of I'm fish. gonna take the horses. Are they regular horses or Wait, water what, horses? Carbon the mine on what again? Regular stuff. These are regular horses. This looks like it was used on the docks based upon the smell and the fact that it's still full of fish. Oh, Token loses interest. <laughs> um, what did you carve mine on? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Um, how uh, handy does that cart look? Full of fish? Full of fish. You can see some of the fishermen run up to the horses and calm them down. Clearly they know these horses. Oh, well. <laughs> what about the cart the, ar the archer was in the cart of fish? Yes. Yes. The oh. cart is attached to horses. That Real horses. Oh, okay. Ducks that belong to the fishermen. Who just yep, got it. <laughs> got, yep, all right, never mind. <laughs> It is Both of wild. You like, How do I commandeer this thing that we just ran into? <laughs> Listen, I just wild. want place to lay down. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that was. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm like, they're not water horses, guys. It's it's gotta belong to the town. It's full of fish. Why would they? This is again like this is poor wording on their part. Like the like <sighs> the cultists come at you with these water horses, and there's just like random ass archers with that stuff. It's it's a poorly constructed. Encounter from, yeah. a, uh, from a production Silk, standpoint. Silk is going to run over to that dragonborn uh, cleric and ask where on the docks did he see those uh, those kids. I don't know if he was with the kids there. Let's see. What was his exact thing? He says, uh, I'm missing two children, Smithwell and Bernice. They were right behind me as we left the town. Uh, they're just. The townsfolk will tell you that the two of the children are best friends. They're the son and daughter of two of the fishers. Got who it. Who are still out on the water. Got it. Okay. So we should go to the docks first. Silk. Uh... Maybe. Well, wait. You said they're best friends, right? Where do they go and play a lot? They're probably hiding. They're uh, it looks like they got they disappeared because they were with them at the time, and now they're missing. When they were trying oh. to evacuate. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, this thing says it's pulled by water steed, so just make sure they change that. Oh, I guess the cart was from the town. I guess there aren't any real horses on it. So the water horse I, dissipates. And now I'm it's gonna, just an empty cart <laughs> full of fish. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of the lances and a shield. Okay. You'll what find this... a potion of greater healing. I'll pick I'll pick that up and I'll go up to silk. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll say here. You can have this, <laughs> or and I I pull off my collar, or you could oh have this. <laughs> I'm not. I forgot about oh. this bit. 
It's oh my god. I'm not I'm not aware. I'm not a were creature. There's just right, there was right, just I'll a keep... druid in the family. I'll keep it. your secret is safe with me. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the the shield and the lance to the to my cart or my my cart guard. Sure. Um uh, so I'm takes gonna... the potion of greater healing though. Okay. So there was really there was really only one choice. Apparently there's like an unclaimed potion of superior healing on your uh, parcel sheet too. Oh yeah, some stuff. Um Will my horse be able to pull that wagon full of fish back to the town? Oh, I mean it's just a cart. They can move it themselves when it's safe to go back to town. Oh. Well. At this point, as you all are uh yeah. Picking things up, uh, the town council which seems to be comprised of this grumpy dwarf who you hear people quietly calling Growler, even though their name is. There's many names. Hey, when they do this to me, Growler. Oh no, no, token. Uh, she introduced herself as Griselda Copperrot, along with the cleric of the Morning Lord here. Whose name is Marigold Brightshine? Who is a halfling boy? And the other elven individual who introduces himself as Valdi Estepar. I guess I'll type these names out for you all. Dwarf is Griselda Copper. Uh, let's see. Halfling. Priest of the Morning Lord, very gold, right? Shine. Half Elven Fisher. Oh, this is a girl. Valdi Estepar. All right. They approach you. Me? The group. Collective you. <laughs> okay. They are concerned that anyone left in town or the guards who stayed behind are dead and the town could be overrun with enemies. They ask you to sneak into town and assess the situation there. If they can't reclaim the town, they're going to have to return to Neverwinter in defeat. Okay. I guess this is what I can do for the little people. I'm going to go to the bard and the little apprentice. They're not with you. They're heading to Neverwinter. Oh, I thought they were coming here first. No, they're heading to Neverwinter. Oh, then I don't. Uh, how many guards are there? About a dozen. I'm not sure. I think they give me that information later. Probably a score. Uh... Anybody see what was attacking the town? No, no one's sure what's happening. They just you got the notes earlier about fish looking people. Yeah, so we we hear fish people, obviously these humans that are something to do with Yeah, on the arrows. humans, if you look over them, they have uh lightning bolts on yeah. their so tattoos we... on them. Oh so sorry. We're gonna go can over I the... can my character make a leap of Le Leap to the conclusion that we're dealing with more cultists of Talos. I am probably okay. I'll... Um, I'm, I'm gonna leap. You make a little leap you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many of these fuckers have the tattoo? Uh, the two individuals who okay. are riding the horses. Oh, um, I'm gonna lean to Silk and I say, "You tackle oh, one, I'll tackle the other." Too. They're all, they're the dead ones. Oh, they're dead. Oh, the dead ones. The dead oh. ones. 
<laughs> oh, well, then let's go find their ritual and burn it and end it all. I'm going to point to the shield and look at the dwarf and the priest. I'm, I'm going to tap it. Okay. What is this? It's a shield. I'm tapping on the symbol. Oh, I don't know why they would have displayed their symbol on their shields like that. It's said on their tattoos. I think it's just a generic shield. Um, well, Silk is going the motion towards... The dwarf will probably look at it and could probably tell you some specific weaponsmith <laughs> from the region who probably made it. I hold my hand up. I've lost interest. Okay. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> They give each other a very confused look <laughs> as you leave. Right. Uh, Silk is going to ask uh, Rizelda, um, do we need to sneak around or can we gauge anyone who's not one of your town's guards? Uh, we don't know what the state of the town is, uh, but... We all left because we were getting under attack. If you all believe a frontal assault is the right way to go, by all means, you're the folks who are hired to handle stuff like this. Wow. Uh, how much cover do we have if we, uh, we go along the beach to get to the docks? Uh, well, you just head towards the high road. I don't think they're able to give you that much tactical knowledge. There's not really a, there's not really a uh, sort of like... I'm going to go pee. ...the docks because it's uh, mm -hmm. an area. I guess...